They told me to go collect it at the city ground. Mum drove 60 miles there and back. Yeah, it's 30 miles from there. And, and, it, and it, it's going to be sort of Oh, sorry. Morning. Welcome back to another video and look where I am, up to Tower of London eh? Just got the early train to London, now walking around Tower of London, Tower of London, Tower of Bridge, wherever it's called, I don't know. Anyway, anyway it's absolutely ram, check this out. <laughs> anyway, it's absolutely ram, it's scorching out as well. Look, I'm keeping it laminate in London, any day of the week, any time of day, you just got to keep it laminate. Like seriously though, I'm piping off, middle of October nearly, I'm fucking piping off, I've come in just the usual, night tech, KWB, pretty fresh. But just look at this, it's brilliant though. Anyways, today we take on Crystal Palace at Sellers Park, and I wasn't actually going to come to this game, but yesterday, I'll be honest, I was having a shit, and I refreshed the ticket office, I thought, why not, this has gone there, see if the tickets are about for tomorrow, and they happened to be one, so I thought, why not, let's snap it up. Anyway, I took that ticket, but I don't actually have it. They told me to go collect it at the city ground, mum drove 60 miles there and back, yeah, it's 30 miles from there. And, and, it, and the pump there, he says, oh, you'll be fine, just go get it at the palace. But he literally told me to pick it up at the, um, the city ground. Anyway, he's absolutely pissed poor Joe back, but at least we're going to the game though. I need to go to see them at the palace, apparently. So I'm going to see if I can get my Mexican friends from the palace. Diego C. Palace, we'll big him up. Diego C. Palace, we'll see if we can go meet with him and somehow show me where this away ticket office is, because I don't have a clue where I'm supposed to get it from. Anyway, it's absolutely round here, I can't proper focus, but Palace today, they've got some quality, as a Elise, we know, we know what we're going to be, all fancy footwork, Hodgson though, top manager, and he's still got it at 75 years old. Anyways, this is the Tower of London, it's absolutely round here, look at this. This is quite possibly, though, I think, the highest tourist spot in the country, I might be wrong, but just look how round it is. Anyways, if Yatesy scores, we will be in that tonight by 7.30, I'll tell you now. Anyways, because it's rammed here, I'm going to quickly go get a photo of the bridge because that'll be pretty boss for the Instagram. <laughs> but then, uh, other than that, I need to go straight to the ground and deal with this ticket issue, otherwise I'm not going to be allowed to get in today. So, uh, I'll see you at Sellers Park. Bye. Alright guys, so I just got to Sellers Park and you know what, I fucking love this ground. It's traditional, atmosphere's rocking, fans are good, it's, like, it's just it's just the whole thing. It's not like you're at Etihad, it's not like you're on traffic, it's proper passionate fans here. And a nice coach here as well, it's fucking boiling. Honestly, I've got to take the England jacket off in a minute because I don't want to eat stroke, but this will do the trick. A bit of Dr Pepper would have been better, but fortunately not in the end of the Sainsbury's. But I do rate that Sainsbury's. Couple of, uh, you know, the ticket. You know, receipt thing, you just have to scan it to get out of here, get out of the shop. It's stupid, it's at the Australian Saints Bridge, there's ground here. Anyway, just spoke to the ticket woman as well. She says, I can collect my ticket two hours before kickoff, just outside the away end. I don't know, something like that. She says, I've been here before, so I know what that is, so it ain't going to be a big issue finding it, hopefully. But yeah. Uh... Anyway, it's a bit more on the game today. Obviously, it's going to be a tough game. We're playing fucking Premier League, right? But you know what? I think we can fucking get something. I really do. I really do think we could nick something from today. Because don't get me wrong, we're not the best of sides. We've got talent. And from one of my mates, Dylan Crook, he's been on the video before. What a boy, He's going to watch Lee Wood tonight. And I hope Lee Wood knocks him the fuck out. Because he will. Josh Warrington, I know he's a good player. Anyway, well, that's an old fucking thing. If you go onto the TikTok, I've spoke about that. But anyway, come on, Lee Wood. Come on, Knox, mate. That's what we want. Forest win, Lee Wood win. Bash. Anyway, this Dylan Cook, he's told me that Eze and Elise are both out injured. So, could be in for a bit of luck. So, all being well, it's just us with our pretty much strongest side. I'd like, do you know what? I've got to see a few changes from the other day, to be honest with you. We were too negative, we didn't really create much. But, yeah. Anyways, let's go get some scrum. I'm fucking starving. Bash. Right now, then, lads, we're just walking around Croydon. Fucking Croydon. I had to just get I hopped on a bus, thinking there'd be some scram places in Croydon, because there's fuck all you know around that ground. And if you've seen my last video, I'll put a picture up here, the thumbnail of it or whatever. I, I'm not getting that jerk chicken thing outside the ground. It's fucking wank. I know it's match day, but I'm not going there again. It wasn't even spicy. Anyway, I'm gonna try and find a McDonald's here, all being well, fingers crossed. <laughs> Right, so I'm just walking down the alley in Croydon. I honestly don't know what's down here. 
because it's no, you know, I need to be a bit careful, keep my wits about me. But when you keep it lemon like this, you sound. Anyway, what was I going to say? So, went to McDonald's, fucking like, did we say, uh, so bear in mind, this is for only McDonald's in the third space radius, you know, yeah, from the Crystal Palace ground. And uh, I go there, and it's cash only. Like, stupid, I'm wearing London, you know what I mean? I purposely put all my cash in the bank to, before I came to London, because it's because everything I know of, it's always card, isn't it, in London, you know what I mean? But yeah. Anyways, we're in a bit of a rush now. I'm going to have to sack off the scram. I'm going to get there and get my ticket. Now, that's more important. I'll end up having to get something while I'm in the ground or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's go get back to the ground and go get my ticket. There. Sure. All right, so scram delivered. After fucking ages, I was starving. Got myself a nice tango apple as well. Check out the TikTok for a full food review. But this shit here, I don't know how it's going to taste, but you have to see the TikTok for it. But uh, anyway, it's looking very, very sexual indeed. Bash! Good for the club representation, isn't it? And that. So I've got Diego here, Conte Cray himself, I'll put his link down in the description below. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the game today? I think it's going to be the same as always between Nottingham Forest and Crystal Palace, whether it's at Selhurst or at your place. I reckon here you always score first, which is like, I'm like, I'm shaking out, I'm nervous. But I will say this, I think a half time will be 1-1 one, one, and in the second half, it's anyone's game. And I'm We've got goals, haven't we? Both yeah, got goals. Yeah, and I'm hopeful that we will, will nick the three points. I'm going for a 2 1 for Crystal Palace, but um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit scared of, of you guys going first and then how we respond to that. Yeah. Up the forest! Are you Hmm. Right, fucking finally, you stick it secured. Fucking three hours, that's stuck waiting. Absolute piss joke. Right, anyway, let's get into Sellers Pot, baby. Bash. <laughs> Uh, it's right entrance. Uh, it's a bit right, isn't it? It's wrong. Power bank, you know. It's alright. I don't like the club photographer. No, I don't like I don't like the steward. Matey there, he just took this fucking awful photo of me. Look at that. Honestly, go on. Anyone there to take a better photo than that. But anyway, it's been a tough game today. I'm super shattered me. I'm actually I'm absolutely shattered. I'm not gonna fucking sit here speaking about the things, I just really can't be fucking arsed. But I don't know, it's gonna be a tough one. And um yeah, before I said I can fucking you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll be fucking ready. Remy Matthews, four Ron Holding, five James Tompkins, 23 Malcolm of UA, 26. <laughs>
Kevin, I got you. Kevin, I got you.
No, I mean, just like that, back to King's Cross. And you know what, fucking Point of Palace, I'll take it. Point of Palace too, you know the alliteration. But yeah, Point of Palace, I'll take it. I feel like we probably should have won. Murillo, fucking outstanding. I'll tell you now, how is he a centre-back? He's physical, first of all, which is obviously a trained centre-back. But his passion is out of this world. He doesn't just do your side foot pass, you know. He fucking swerves it. Swerves it or outside the boot. Honestly, we've got some player there. And he's only 21. He's come from Brazilian League. So, honestly, once he gets to gel them a bit better, and once he grows older a bit, gets more experienced in the league, fucking hell, we're going to have some talent there. Anyway, just been to McDonald's. Got myself one of those sexual chicken bacon Caesar wraps. Not bad to be fair, one ninety nine. got myself a coat to finish off and then I'm going to pop into that waitress there and get myself some Belgian buns as we always do. Anyway, we probably should have won today. Dominguez was outstanding again, Gibbs White outstanding. But I didn't understand why Origi didn't start. That is a big, big question I've got to be asking. I don't even know what was up with Tyra, no one was really talking about it. But, uh... Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to get home now. Trains in like an hour or something, I don't know. No, I'm going to get home, uh, fucking edit this, play some fucking pro clubs with the boys. I've got that new EA Sports FC. It's right shit, but pro clubs, it's meant to be good. We're going to start it all tonight. Let the boys begin. Bash. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Until the next one, I'll be seeing you. Please be sure to check out all the TikToks tonight, because we're popping off as of late. I made one last night, I got 20k views. Not bad. Anyway, please be sure to check them all out. They're all funny, good content and all that. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bash.